Prince Harry claims people are racist without even knowing it as he defends Meghan Markle. Prince Harry yesterday sparked a national debate by claiming people harbor racist views without knowing it. In a remarkably frank interview, the Duke of Sussex warned how unconscious bias passed through the generations led to prejudices that developed into racism. His comments, made in an interview for British Vogue, guest edited by his wife Meghan, could be interpreted as a passionate defense of the American-born, mixed-race former actress who has been subject to sexist and racist abuse. Speaking about the unconscious bias, or how we are wired to think the way we do, the 34-year-old Prince said racist views were caused by the environment that people were brought up in, with many failing to understand their origins. The Duke of Sussex also spoke of how becoming a father to their new baby son Archie had changed him. And he revealed that he wanted two children maximum for environmental reasons, despite his older brother Prince William already having three. Prince William and Kate have two sons and a daughter, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Harry, 34, said in Vogue that racist views like those Meghan has had to endure were handed down from generation to generation. He said, despite the fact that if you go up to someone and say what you've just said, or the way you've behaved, is racist dash they'll turn around and say, I'm not a racist. I'm not saying you were a racist, I'm just saying that your unconscious bias is proving that because of the way that you've been brought up, the environment you've been brought up in, suggests that you have this point of view, unconscious point of view, where naturally you will look at someone in a different way. And that is the point at which people start to have to understand. The Prince's candid comments came in an interview he conducted with conservationist, Dr. Jane Goodall, 85, at his home, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. During the parish conversation, Harry told the campaigner and primatologist, What I love about your work is that you focus on the younger generation. When you start to peel away all the layers, all the taught behavior, the learned behavior, the experienced behavior, you start to peel all that away and at the end of the day, we're all humans. But again, stigma is handed down from generation to generation. Your perspective on the world and on life and on people is something that is taught to you. It's learned from your family, learned from the older generation, or from advertising, from your environment. When Dr. Goodall talked about the similarities between humans and monkeys and their inherited aggressive tendencies, the Duke said, it's the same as unconscious bias, something which so many people don't understand, why they feel the way they do. Harry revealed that he was terrified of the environmental pressures facing the planet. He said, what we need to remind everybody is, these are things that are happening now. We are the frog in the water and it's already been brought to the boil. Which is terrifying. Dr. Goodall responded, happening and happened. It is terrifying especially as you've just had a baby. The Duke replied, it does make it different. I think, weirdly, because of the people that I've met and the places I've been fortunate enough to go, I've always had a connection and a love of nature. I view it differently now, without question. But I've always wanted to try and ensure that, even before having a child and hoping to have children. Commentators said Harry's remarks were aimed at those who have been critical of the couple since he married the 37-year-old Los Angeles-born former Suits actress last year. The Duke has been protective of his wife, issuing a heartfelt statement in 2016 soon after they began dating saying he was worried about her safety. Last night Dickie Arbiter, 79, a former press secretary to the Queen, said, this is probably his way of saying, look, enough is enough. He is trying to protect his wife. But other commentators and royal fans slammed Harry for his lecturing. Royal writer Phil Dampier wrote on Twitter, With his track record Prince Harry is not the best person to be lecturing the rest of us about racism or unconscious bias. Time to put a sock in it and get out and do some down-to-earth royal jobs. Twitter user Tian Bossi responded to Harry's comments saying, No no no. This is all mixed up. We all have unconscious biases. They do not make us racist. To be racist is absolutely a conscious action. Being aware that unconscious bias exists and what our particular unconscious biases are helps us consciously correct.